I love these verses, verses three and four. Behold, the field is white, all ready to harvest. Therefore, whoso desires to reap, let him thrust in his sickle with his might and reap while the day lasts, that he may treasure up for his soul everlasting salvation in the kingdom of God. Yea, whosoever will thrust in his sickle and reap, the same is called of God. I love the invitation. It's to act. Don't wait. We don't need to be commanded in all things. We don't have to worry, like, am I swinging the proper way? Did I cut that sheaf at the right height? Like, just get to work. There's so much joyful opportunity to serve and to be served. And the beautiful thing is God has invited all of us, wherever we're at, to participate in the work. Simply by loving and serving others, you are part of building the kingdom of God. You don't need an official calling. You don't need position or privilege. It's simply by using your righteous desires to help lift the life of somebody that may be in your life. And it doesn't take much. It could be a kind word. It could simply be, as President Hinckley often encouraged us, to try to be a little bit better every day. And as you do this, you will feel the joy of God's love surging through your soul. And this is the purpose of the gospel. This is the purpose of the restoration, to invite all of us to participate in this great and marvelous work. Whether our swing is mighty or less so, it's just participate with God, and in doing so, finding the joy.